Okay, um, for this section we're going to, uh, we've got our left and right halves painted and got them saved. So what we're going to do on this section here is uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, paint the uh, KLM logo on the engine, which is real simple. So you go to open, we're going to load the PSD file for the GE engine. It has a uh, paint here layer. Let's go to 100%. Uh, it's already set to multiply, uh, but we're going to end up making a new layer and we'll have to multiply it. So we're going to open our little, do our, let's let's do our little, um, our measurement here. It's about the same, it's the width it needs to be. So 68 pixels, like we've done before. So we're going to open that KLM file to uh, 68 pixels. Control A, copy. Control A and then Control C for copy. And then we're going here and we're going to Control V. We're going to paste it in. It needs to be just below the uh, oil door there and centered between these two panel lines. So there we go. <clears throat> like I said, you're going to have to make it multiply. You can get rid of this layer since we're not going to actually paint any color on it. Or if you're going to paint color, this is the layer you would actually use. But since we're pasting something, this is now our painted layer. Uh, we're going to right click, duplicate it. And uh, holding down on shift, move it straight to the left. And uh, center it up between the panel lines again. Then we're going to merge these two layers. So select them both, right click, merge layers. Now they are one layer. When you do that, it changes it from multiply back to normal, so remember to go back and fix that. But uh, until then, we're going to go ahead and uh, duplicate that new layer, that merged layer. We're going to shift and hold down and move it straight down. I'm going to edit, transform, rotate 180 degrees. And it should be right in the right spot. So we're going to uh, merge these two now, set it to multiply, and there you go. Now we have the logos on our engines. Couldn't ask for an easier engine to pa uh, paint. So we'll file, save as, we're going to call it Engine GE uh, KLM. Let's see here. Save it. And we'll close it. So we're done with that. Done with that. The engines are painted. So now uh, we are going to do the belly texture. So we'll load the belly up here. Uh, how this Photoshop file works for the belly is you have a paint here layer, which is where you would select a square area and uh, paint this uh, gray area here. This is the actual belly texture itself. That's where you would paste your paint in there because it's already set. Uh, you don't have to multiply it because everything on top of it is already multiplied. Um, this is set to a white base. So, uh, should be just about right. So, uh, when you get it, it's already defaulted with white. So, unless your belly should be a different color, you're just going to leave this one alone and then uh, just file. Just for the sake of having everything in continuity, just save it as belly KLM. Okay, so we didn't really need to change anything on that one because it's white anyways. Uh, we're going to open. So we got our belly done, got our engine done. The um, We're going to go ahead and do the uh, left wing now. So wing left PSD. Here is, um, this is the uh, the file here that has your wing textures plus your tail. We're not quite ready to paste the tail in yet. We haven't got that far yet. But for now, we can go ahead and edit uh, one thing, which is the fact that if you look at reference photo here, it's always good to get a uh, 
a reference photo that shows the top of the wing. Make sure you're not missing any marks. See here, because there are no overwing exits, there are no overwing exit markings. So, uh, on this layer here, on this uh, Photoshop file, you have the option of having two overwing exits or the one overwing exit. Well, this one has none. So just leave it. So unselect that, and you can get rid of that too. Or leave it there, it doesn't matter. Because we're going to come back and edit it again later. So we got that off. So file. You can just save since we didn't delete anything. Uh, if you actually remove a layer, I would save it as something else so you don't lose your original file in case you want those exits back. But either way, we'll go ahead and save that. And uh, go ahead and open up the uh, wing right. Just double check, make sure we don't need to do anything here, which we do. We need to get rid of the wing exit. So file and save. You'll notice with KLM, as with most European carriers, they have the registration usually under the left wing. Some of them even have it on top of the right wing, but this one doesn't. Uh, so it's right here under the left wing. So we open up wing left. Open that one back up. This is the underside of the left wing. This is the top side of the left wing. Um, these files are arranged as you're looking straight down at the top of the aircraft so left wing here and this is just the underside so in order to make it a lot easier to paint on we're gonna do that canvas thing again so edit or excuse me image and we're gonna rotate the canvas vertical there now it's like we're laying flat on our back the planes flying over us and here's the bottom of the left wing this will make it a whole lot easier for you rather than trying to figure out the alignment so you can see here the rate the registration fits right in between the dark gray here a little bit out from the end of it and uh, before the uh, about a third of the way down the uh, flap guide or the flap itself here so here's the flap here's the end so we're gonna put it about right here so I uh, will go zoom into a hundred percent it's gonna be the dark blue it doesn't matter uh, it's more than likely going to look black anyways. So we'll go ahead and click here. PHBZI. And uh, go to your move tool. Move it down to the right spot. Go here. You can change your font here or you can change it by highlighting it and changing it. Whatever you feel comfortable with. I think probably about 36 is going to be about right. And we'll remember the extend it to 100 to get the spacing. So, go here. Let's go ahead and multiply this so it'll blend it with everything. We hit Control T and uh, go into free transform mode. This allows us to, like, remember before we were adjusting the size of it, where it also lets us, if you see as you get around the edges, it'll let you rotate it. So, we're going to rotate it. There we go. We're going to rotate it so it's aligned with the front edge of the dark gray. Once we get the right alignment, double click on it bring it up to center it a third of the way down the flap a little bit off from the end and voila we're done so we can go ahead and edit our image image rotation and flip it back vertical so we got the original file and now our registration is under the wing like it's supposed to be so now we can save it as wing left KLM now we could have did this earlier but uh, I just thought about it actually so all right, so when we come back, it will be time to start putting things over to the aircraft to the target files, so uh, I'll see you then.